Oh yeah, I'm up. Oh wait, this is live. live. Uh oh, I forgot about that. Click too much stuff. Hello, welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. My name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend is kind of back at her place. Well, I'm back at my place actually. So she's back at her place, contemplating new car and jobs and other stuff. And hopefully I, I get a new job too. But let's talk about some pro wrestling again. Thank you for watching. And my name is Hobo Tom. You're watching the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Show here on YouTube. Our YouTube channel. Um, one day. I wonder if I have enough videos to have my own URL. T-shirts. Uh, again, just a programming note. I will be posting another video. Again, I have my Lucha Underground still to do. Um, I also have the NXT house show I'm, I'll be at this Friday at 7.30 at the Daytona Beach Multicultural Center, kind of right by the swimming pool near Bethune Cookman University. So again, if you want to see Hobo Tom, but hi, Hobo Tom. Here's a piece of aluminum. I will gladly accept your piece of aluminum. But I could use all the money I could get because I just saw how many hours I'm getting next week. Get back to work! Well, I told my girlfriend that. She doesn't like that. Again, can kind of be busy. Also, we have another video. Uh, WWE 2K17. Again, my 100th episode. Even though this is show number 102. Wow, which is amazing. I think when I got into this, like I'd be doing like one show a week. Didn't realize how, how much fun this actually is. I'd be amazed to get paid to do this. One day, quit my job. <laughs> get paid to go watch wrestling events and, and wear wrestling t-shirts. Again, I have my friend shirt on. I think all, all my other shirts are right now in the laundry. Or when you worn worn soon. I do have my one X T shirt I like to wear. The NXT events. But let's talk about some SmackDown. Not NXT yet. We'll do NXT later. Um starts off with Brie Bell and Daniel Bryant. Again, just a promo. Starts to run down the Miz. The Miz the Miz comes on. Big screen. That's that's really good. And then the Eagle, Los Sombra. Andrade Cien Almas. Mini Vega. She is short. I mean, even on the ramp, you can tell he's like standing like two or three feet in front of her, and he, he still towers over her. Again, this led to the first match. And Aligolo is not done with you. Daniel Bryan. Brian Danielson. Yeah, is it Brian Daniels? That's his real name? I know it's Flip. I forget if it's Danielson or just Daniels. Who knows? Um, this was a really fun, good match. I mean, a very technical match. A very joint-oriented match, both attacking each other's arms. It was good. I mean, this was a really good surf and turf match. I mean, it harkens back to the days of NXT, even well after Daniel Bryan was there, but definitely when, when um, Andrade Almas was there. Again, they're just trying to, to break each other's arms. The thing is, Andrade Almas every so often slips back into tranquilo mode. The tranquilo. Tranquilo is too much. A very tranquilo cover. I'm not going to pin Brian Daniels or Daniel Bryan. Again, at the end, again, um, he put, he puts, yeah, I forget how it ended now. I just watched it. it. Wasn't the yes kick. He probably put him in the yes lock. Yeah, put him in the yes lock. And then the Miz, he's come back on screen. 
This is so good. <laughs> the Bellas. Calls him the Bellas. Although Daniel Bryan does have to teach Bree how to do a suicide dive. Daniel Bryan makes it look so much simpler. Kind of dive. It's gravity kind of float down. When Bree does it, Bree kind of, oh, look at he got. Decides to really do a dive. And not good. Thankfully, Sarah Logan, I think, tries to somewhat catch her. But Brie Bella has to learn how to do dives, or, sh or sh she's going to have to go to impact testing and concussion stuff done to her. But then next, we had a heel Becky and, and a, a face Charlotte interview. Eventually, it broke down. They just say, yeah, yeah, we need to do that. Again, the crowd still chanted, Becky, Becky, Becky. Heel Becky is so hot. Biatch. Yeah. Becky's good. Hey, Charlotte. Eh, it's okay. I wonder if this will be in, in a Hell in a Cell. I don't know. I think there's only going to be... I know there's one Hell in a Cell match. For Raw, that's Strowman. The second one on SmackDown is going to be and Jeff Hardy. Please don't die. Versus Randy Orton. I have a funny feeling it's going to be AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. It makes sense the way the two are going at each other. But then heel Becky and Charlotte is in the hell in a cell. Ooh, that's so good. I thought of something. But WWE is never going to do it, though. Have Charlotte Flair pull a Ric Flair and do a blade job. Amazing! If they do that, send me one shiny quarter. I thought of that first. Um, then we had a Naomi versus Peyton Royce match. Again, the iconists come down. They're not getting. They're not as funny as they used to be. I used to like it when it was more spontaneous. Now it's like you almost expect it. And you just expect better from them. So this was an okay match. Kind of short. I th At least I think it was kind of short. And didn't we see this like two weeks ago? Again, I'm not big on having constant matches. I mean, there are enough women in the women's division where they could have new faces. Although, at the end, I'll talk about that shortly. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, this match was a ham sandwich. It was a good match. I mean, Peyton Royce is still a, a great talker in the ring. I mean, she has the ring psychology down pretty good. Naomi's good in the ring. Peyton Royce is good in the ring. Again, when you see it so many weeks in a row, it's like you're not showing me anything new. I mean, let's do flippy stuff if you're going to keep on. If you're going to keep on having the same matches over and over again, you have to show the audience that there's a progression. Like, I know at least with Finn and Braun, at least it appeared that Finn learned what Braun does, tried to counter it, even though he couldn't. He tried. It's like he scouted Braun from his previous matches, and he learned from his previous matches. So, so that I can understand, but if you're going to do the same moveset over and over again, yeah. But, uh, again, it was a ham sandwich match. Naomi got the pin over Peyton Royce. So at least she won. I wonder if next week if they're going to have her face Billy Kay and have her beat Billy Kay. That's a horrible prediction. I almost think it's going to be true. 
But of course, Billy Kay is being upset that her her iconic buddy lost, and Peyton Royce being upset that she lost. Decided to just jump Naomi. In comes Asuka. Asuka's back. I'm happy. Asuka makes me smile. We have a Jeff Hardy promo. And then you have Paige and The Miz. Miz is taking on someone. And then Our Truth walks in on, on The Miz and Maurice. And Our Truth is getting really confused. He calls Maurice Carmella. Granted, it was funny. Um, Miz said the last time Our Truth was relevant, tagged with him. And that was seven years ago. So, again, that was pretty good. Again, our our truth. I don't know what's going on. It's it's different. It's funny. I mean, hey, he's getting on TV, and so by the way is Ty Dillinger, because Ty Dillinger is the perfect maybe, even though he doesn't have a match. It's like our truth's buddy or something. Then you have Joe comes out, cuts another promo against AJ. So good. I could listen to Joe talk forever. AJ Salas comes out and says, Joe, I'm sick of this. They start fighting. AJ tries to murder Joe with his steel chair. I mean, he just swung the chair right for his head. Again, he did hit the ring post. Then Paige has to break him up, and some refs have to break him up. AJ Salas hits a phenomenal forearm from the top rope all the way to the bottom. AJ Salas Dave Page says save it for the save it for Hell in a Cell. But I wonder if they're gonna have that in Hell in a Cell. I just need some water because I had some nice yummy chicken soup. They made it extra salty and extra spicy. And the water's good for you. Two bottles of it. Pop that up. Get that ready to be put in the recycling bin. Yes, don't throw away plastic, recycle plastic. That's my public service announcement for, for the first 100 episodes. Or probably the second 100 episodes. And then R-Truth is still looking for Carmella. With, with Ty Dillinger, he finds Carmella. Doesn't realize she's Carmella. Again, it's a comedy angle. It slices the popcorn part. And you have Randy Orton saying how he's everyone. He's faced. Again, they showed him a video of him cleaning off. Jeff Hardy's face paint and him burning the white complex. Then you have the, then you have the three-way tag match of the Usos, Sanity, and Rusev Day. Here's Nikki Cross. I want Nikki Cross. I want Nikki Cross with Sanity. I mean, unless they're saving her for something special. I don't think they are. I could see her at NXT. Oh. I could see her at NXT versus Amber Nova. She might team up with Amber Nova. She's been doing that recently. I might try and get Amber Nova's autograph. I do have that card of her. Gives me ideas. Again, I'll give it to my nephew. Getting a little. Ooh, wait. I could, I could be evil Tom. Ooh, I might be evil Tom one day. <laughs> we'll see, though. I have to get autographs. And, and first, I have to make sure that I have off that night and in case some other person doesn't show up. Work. But this is about wrestling. So let's talk about the Uso Sanity and Rusev Again, this was a fun surf and turf match. I mean, the, everyone's jumping out of the ring. That seems to be the whole thing. Sandy's the hardest hitting team. The Usos have their classic moveset. Again, the Samoan and drops, super kick parties, and splashes. Rusev, I mean, Rusev just does the kicks, the really heavy stuff. Aiden English was, was great because he saved Rusev Day a couple times. Aiden English is the savior of Rusev Day!
Let's get in. And it was flying out, bodies just flying everywhere. It was really fun. And Rusev Day won. So this is a surf and turf match. And then the main event of the evening, we have the Miz versus R Truth. I think the commentary team said this been the first time in like seven years R Truth has main evented SmackDown. I think it's been the first time in seven years R Truth has main evented anything. No way, that's not true. Wasn't didn't they do a main event on Raw maybe with that was Raw I guess with um Gold Dust? I don't know. But again, our our truth still has it. I mean, really good. I mean, he had the hot start. The Miz, of course, has his comeback. Miz put a little extra stank on on that kneeling DDT. That looked good though. And again, I love it because the the Miz does old fashioned wrestling moves. If you think about it, with the, with the Miz saying, "Oh yeah, I wrestle a style." That keeps me wrestling 256 shows. And that's true. The Lex handle. Keep on doing that. And basic moves. I mean, he's not really a high flyer. He doesn't dive through the ropes. He, does, he doesn't do flying headbutts or, or really weird stuff. He doesn't put he doesn't put his own body at risk. And he doesn't use his own body as a weapon like some other wrestlers. So, I mean, it doesn't make sense in, in that manner. And He's just really good. I mean, classic wrestling moves. Oh, I love classic wrestling moves. I could have matches with double axe handles and, and figure fours. Oh, they long. They're just fun that way. As long as I have some flippy stuff later on, that's good stuff. And then he puts in a little extra sink. I mean, the Miz has to learn how to hit that last yes kick, though. Always misses it. Again, misses the heel. He takes out the knees. You know what? Baby. It was a dusty finish, baby. Nobody wins. And that's only because Daniel Bryan comes in, interferes. The Miz does win by DQ. Our truth loses by DQ. And then, of course, you have the big spot of Daniel Bryan put its Miz in the yes lock, and then re puts Maurice in the yes lock. But then you have Andrade Cien Almas and Selena Vega come in. So I think for the go home show next week, this is going to set up an eight person mixed tag match. Again, let's see what happens to my predictions. That could be good. Could also be terrible though. I don't know, all, all depends what they decide to do. Because it would probably be the Miz and Maurice and Andrade Almas and Selena Vega versus R Truth and Carmella and Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. And Brie, no more suicide dogs. That's just all bad. So that's the end of the show. I'd like to thank you guys for watching again from my previous show on Ride did show you I make an almost Chicago style pizza. Um, again, a, a couple more videos this week. Again, thank everyone. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, eventually I'm going to have to put my girlfriend's photography page up here somewhere. I have to find it from her, even though I helped her build it once. Bad boyfriend. You need to always remember your girlfriend's webpage. And thank you everyone for watching. Bye. Oh, yeah, I'm up. Oh, wait. This is live. Uh oh. I forgot about that. Click too much stuff. Hello. Welcome to the Hobo and his Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. My name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend is kind of back at her place. Well, I'm back at my place, actually. So she's back at her place contemplating new car and jobs and other stuff. And hopefully I, I get a new job, too. But let's talk about some pro wrestling again. Thank you for watching.
Yeah, my name is Hobo Tom. You're watching the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Show here on YouTube. Our YouTube channel. Um, one day. I wonder if I have enough videos to have my own URL. T-shirts. Uh, again, just a programming note. I will be posting another video. Again, I have my Lucha Underground still to do. Um, I also have the NXT house show I'm, I'll be at this Friday at 7.30 at the Daytona Beach Multicultural Center, kind of right by the swimming pool near Bethune-Cookman University. So again, if you want to see Hobo Tom, but hi, Hobo Tom, here's a piece of aluminum. I will gladly accept your piece of aluminum. But I could use all the money I could get because I just saw how many hours I'm getting next week. Get back to work! Well, oh, tell my girlfriend that. She doesn't like that. Again, in